my cousin made a school girl error. Right? You've got to adopt the no drip stance when you're eating tapu. So first and foremost, legs apart. All right, legs apart. Lean forward. Okay. Lean the tapu up. Okay. Eat it away from the body, away from the preps. All right. Away from your body. You've got to lean. Taco time. I'm ready. Today, I'm at Meat Head Taco Bar and Grill. I'm gonna get some tacos. We're gonna start off by finding out how it's made, what time it's made. It's early in the morning. I'm suffering from a hangover. Uh, enjoyed myself a bit too much last night. I'm tired, but when it comes to food, I'm always ready. I'm awake, ready to go at Meat Head Tacos. Let's go find out. Meathead Mexican is a street food concept born in Camden, Market, London. They are the UK's first dedicated birria taco joint and is opened every day. They specialise in birria tacos, offering three meat options in a grilled cheese style corn tortilla and served with their intense consomme dipping sauce. So, what time? What time do you start during the day? Oh, we start early, like half past seven. This is my boss for today. His name is Hassan. He's going to give me a crash course in making tacos. What is tacos? Why do we love it so much? Why is it so popular all over the world? I can't say Tuesday without saying Taco Tuesday. But when did this all start? People believe that tacos is an ancient food and they say that tortillas could date back to around 10,000 years BCE. Tacos are thought to have come from Mexico, long before the Spanish had arrived. Ancient Mexicans used freshly made soft flat corn tortillas and gave them fillings like fish and cooked organs. The taco was first introduced to United States in 1905. Mexican migrants were coming into work on railroads and other jobs and started to bring their delicious food with them. Tacos were essentially a street food at this time since they were highly portable and cheap. In fact, Americans first became exposed to tacos through Mexican food carts in Los Angeles. By 1920, the food Mexican immigrants brought in started to fuse with American ingredients and now it has taken many different forms across the globe. We need to prepare the beef. The beef takes at least six hours to be ready. Yeah, at least. Wow. It's, um, and it's just cooking now. Is it? Yeah, it's just cooking. The beef is running. Yeah. It's the beef. It's about 75 kilos deep there. Uh, I got one small here as well. It's about 15 kg. This is birria taco. Taco birria are made from savory stew that perfectly combines sweet, savory and sour flavours and is stuffed into the tortilla. So shredding the meat. Lots of elbow grease required for this. Lots and lots of elbow grease. The sauce from the beef stew is then preserved and used as a dipping sauce to enhance the flavours of the tacos. What's popular with the general public? The beef. The beef. The beef is the, the, beef. the most popular here. And then the chicken. Actually, the chicken is nice as well. Like, you, can, you can see. Yeah. We have some spices on top. Yeah. It's nice and crispy. Yeah. The chicken is uh, really nice, you know? Yeah. So, what's it? But we have some spices. You can still grill it. Both sides. The yeah. skin, crispy skin. Yeah. So you want um, the skin to always be crispy? Crispy, yeah, always. But, um, and you see that, mm. it's crispy skin, yeah? All the fats come out. And it's a juicy inside. 
trying to be a bit well behaved, but you know what I mean? Gonna pinch that piece, you know what I'm saying? So this is the chicken that goes into the, the taco. Um, oh my god. Succulent on the inside. Very crunchy outer layer. He then chops the chicken, adds chipotle sauce, mixes it, and there you have it. I love, I love the cooking, man. You love cooking, yeah? Yeah. Where do you learn how to cook? Oh, okay, I got some some experience and some courses I did from, from the school. I used to be in service. Oh, I done some culinary arts there. Oh, you did culinary uh, arts? Yeah, okay. I, I had like two years uh, diploma on that. Oh, nice, 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 nice. But I, I used to be, because I'm in Cyprus, it's a Mediterranean island. So we used to do some Mediterranean dishes. Oh. Based on like um, some Italian, it's just a mix a little bit. Oh, in Cyprus? In Cyprus. On to the guacamole. A lot of muscle goes into this, isn't it? Yeah. Not Don't muscle. walk out. That's it. You're not messing around, man. You need gin when you're smashing avocado. Adds lime, adds coriander, red onion, salt, and then mixes it. We done our vegetables. We got lime, we got onion, avocado ready, yeah. coriander ready. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's ready. We're ready to go. So we'll, service is gonna begin soon. Okay. We're gonna be behind here. I'm gonna be flipping some tacos. You know what I mean, flipping some tacos. Start working. Service is about to start and I'm nervous. Hassan is going to give me a quick crash course in making tacos. Right, so what are we doing now? Talk to me, Good. talk to me boss, come on. We start out making our tacos, yeah? Yeah. I put the tacos. Yeah. The water. I dip it in the water. Yeah. And there is a cheese coming on it. Why do you dip it in the water? It's uh, some water to don't burn that tacos, you know? Oh, if if right. I put it straight, it will burn. It will burn, right, right, yeah. right, I see. So just, it's uh, really hot here. Right. I got some onion on it. Right. What makes a good taco, man? What makes a very good taco? You need to have some very good, uh, the meat has to go cook very nice. For example, yeah. you see the beef out there? Yeah. It's eight hours cooked. Yeah. And shred it. As you see that, okay, cool. it's just... I need to have some good sauce on it. When you dip in, yeah. you, you feel the flavor. That's right. So it's all in the beef, it's all in the filling. Yeah. That's what makes a good taco. Yeah. Right. And the outer layer, what does it need to be? Crispy, soft? Yeah. It has to have, to have some crispiness, crunch. crunchiness. You know, right. when you bite it, yeah. you feel it, you know? That's right, that's right. Otherwise, it, it, it doesn't make booty attack good. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you see that, yeah, that's it. That's it. The cheese should be melted, right amount the cheese, because not too much. Yeah. Because if you have lots of cheese and less meat, it, you just feel the cheese, yes, not yes, the meat. Yes, 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 yes. So you want a, the right balance of meat and meat, cheese. cheese, onion, you I put some onion on it, yeah. There we go, yeah. Come from there. Put some onion on it. It looks very simple, but how easy is it to get this wrong? <laughs> can, you get, can you get making tacos wrong? For example, while we're making here, yeah. the, the grill, it's a, it's a heat up. I mean, it's high heat, you know? Yeah. So you have to be fast. Yeah. I need to know the right temperature. For example, while we are, I'm putting the tacos, I know exactly how long I, how need much to. time I need it. You That's know? right. I put my cheese, I put my onion, yeah. I put my meat on it. Right, right, and right. I need to flip it as fast as possible. You know? Okay, I see, I see. And I see. That, that makes the best tacos here. Love that, love that. I will look here. Best tacos in town cooked by me, you know. I'm always doing my first trial. Yeah. Where's my eight? Off the gang. Right, who's first to go? Off the gang. All right. Taco time. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one, yeah. And then the next one. Let's go. 
put it on this bag as well, yeah? Yep. So, I cheese, got the cheese. Grab the cheese, okay? And then put it nice. over here. Put it over there. Just anywhere, yeah? And then you mix it Just, out. Yeah, you, yeah. you space it out, and then you put it over here, and then you space it out. Yeah. And then you've got the onion. Got your onions, and then you sprinkle it, yeah? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Hot. it's hot. It's yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's alright. Training. My tackle training. Get the shredded, shredded ones in there. A little bit less, yeah. yeah. Is that alright? Yeah. Okay. You need to do this mm -hmm. and then fold it like that. Yeah. Perfect. Come on. Don't, don't press it. Just don't press it. Just leave it. Yeah? Just leave it. Okay. And then you take this one because yeah. you got low heat, high heat, low heat. So oh. go on the side. That's alright, yeah? More, 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 more. Because otherwise it will burn. It will burn, yeah? And then, take this one. Yeah. Put on the wall. So that becomes toasty. Yeah. So then it gets toasted up. Yeah. As you see. Yeah. More oil, a little bit. More oil. Okay. Gangs, yeah. Nice. Just, you yeah. can touch it. You can touch it, yeah. So when you can touch it, yeah, you can feel the crispiness. The crispiness, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's another perfect one. That's no, right. Yeah, no. Yeah. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Yeah. Perfect. Shit. Right. There you go. Thank you very much. Where do I so, right here? Yeah. There we go. That's it. Down here. Shall I do salt base now? Yeah. With some onion. It's for garnish, just garnish. Okay, yeah, 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 it's just onion there, yeah. Because we already put the onion inside, yeah, yeah. 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 Some coriander as well here. Yeah. Nice. Nice, Perfect. yeah. This one comes on the side. It goes on the side, yeah. Two lime. Two lime, yeah. Uh, and a bit of the sauce. sauce. On top. On top, yeah. Should I go here yeah, like this, yeah? Like this, yeah, okay. perfect. Right. Some guacamole. A bit more. Okay. Oh, yes. Lovely. Thank you very much, boss. That's it. Just me and tacos. That's it. Cooked by me. You know what I mean? Boss, thank you very much. I'm gastro. I cook this here. I told you. My cooking skills are second to none. Second to none. Trust me. Got a man cooking taco birria and that. Come on. Me. So good. Ay caramba, this taco is delicious, it is meaty, it's fleshy and all the juices you get from the meat enhances the flavours, especially when you dip it into that birria sauce. Toasty shell, crispy, gives it an extra crunch but I can't believe I made this. So what are you trying now? Listen, I'm gonna go for the chicken. Um, you wanna have a look at that. It's packed with cheese, packed with flavor. All right. And this is the sauce. I think it's the sauce that's spicy. It's very spicy. It's very spicy. Boom. We've got to adopt the no, no drip stance. <laughs> no drip. We've got to adopt it. When you're having tacos, it is imperative. Yes. That's it, that's a good, she's adopted the no drip stance very well. No drip stance? No drip, no drip, it's cute. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> it's colourful, it's like a Mexican carnival going on here. Lots of colours, lots of flavours, lots of spices, um, lots of textures. <laughs> I was meant to do some for you, innit? <laughs> no, we'll get another one. I was meant to leave some for the camera woman. <laughs> I got carried away. Mm. Oh, and you got it in your, in your strap as well. Just, no! Yeah. There you go. So that's the drip there, right there. No! You flopped. The dripometer. At least I missed the whole baby. See you later. You flopped. 
But what's important is that it didn't land on Gabe. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd have been calling a social service team. <laughs> <laughs> Stress. I'd have been calling. It's so hard to talk and like, honestly, you know, review it while you're eating. I can't it's review much. it. Just come to Camden. Yeah. And try it for yourself. It's that good.